Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Mayuko and welcome back to my channel where we talk about tech and career and life. So today we're gonna be talking about my computer science degree and we're gonna walk through all the classes that I took as an undergrad at UC San Diego. I am hoping to get through everything in under 20 minutes, but as I was reviewing my transcript, I realized I took a lot of different classes. So we will try our best by going through my classes year by year and talking about what I learned in them as well as what was memorable about them. And I'm hoping that this will shed some light on what a four year computer science degree at a university is like. I don't know, maybe you're deciding between going to a coding boot camp or going back to school for computer science. Or maybe you went to school for computer science and you just wanted to know what the UCSD program was like. Whatever that may be, I am happy to have you and I am ready and excited to talk about my experience. So I went to the University of California, San Diego, or UCSD for short, from the years 2010 to 2014 to earn my bachelor's of science in computer science. I entered college without knowing what I wanted to major in, so I simply chose UCSD because it was the best school that I got into. A little bit about UCSD's college system. There are several colleges that you can choose as an undergraduate student, which basically determines what general education requirements you have to satisfy, as well as which dorms you live in. I was in Warren College and I chose that because when I read the Wikipedia page for it, the values and things that the college stood for was really similar to who I was in my own values, especially as a Libra. Warren College is really popular among engineering majors because for those majors, it slashes the general education requirements in half which is really good because engineering majors at UCSD have so much coursework to get through in order to graduate on time. So I didn't really need to take that many GE classes, and I also came into UCSD with a couple of classes done thanks to my AP test scores. Which honestly, I was really glad because it got me out of some math classes that I didn't need to take, which I know I would have done poorly in. I should also mention that UCSD was on the quarter system instead of the semester system, so there were four quarters in which you could take classes throughout the year. So let's get into the coursework. So I've talked in previous videos about how I didn't start off as a CS major at school. So this first quarter, I was actually considering either becoming a chemistry major or a neuroscience major. And this was because I really liked chemistry in high school and neuroscience just seemed kind of cool because it was like brains and thinking about how people think and the science behind all of that. So one of the classes that I took was chemistry 6A honors. Now, technically I had tested out of this class with my AP scores, but I wanted to take the honors class anyways to see if I could keep up with college chemistry. Spoiler alert, I couldn't. It was a really hard class and was ultimately why I decided not to be a chem major. And then I also took Psych 2, which was Introduction to Neuroscience. I never really took any college level biology, nor had I ever gotten close to medicine or anything related to that in high school. So I wanted to take an intro class to see if it would really interest me. Another spoiler alert, I hated this class. I actually failed it. It was so bad because I am terrible at memorizing stuff. And it turns out that memorization is a really important skill if you wanna go into neuroscience or anything biology related. I also took this Warren College writing program class, which was just a GE. And then I took Phil 10 Intro to Logic. Now this was a key class because this class opened my eyes to computer science. Because at the end of the quarter, when I realized that I hated both chemistry and neuroscience at the college level, I was kind of at a loss for what the heck to even do and major in. So then I was talking to my friend who suggested that I take a computer science class because he knew how much I was enjoying my logic class. So that brings us to winter quarter 2011, where I take my very first computer science class ever. And this was CSE 8A Intro to Computer Science with Java, which also had a lab course where you just go to the labs and program in Java and stuff. I also took chemistry 6B, 
not honors because I won't try and do that again and I just need to fulfill my GE. Um, War in College Writing Program B, also GE. And then I also took CSE 91, which was Perspectives in CSE. Now, I don't remember taking this class at all, to be honest. So I looked up what was part of the coursework when I took it. And what I gathered from it was that it was basically a class where each lecture, there was someone else who came in to talk about how computer science can be applied in many different ways. Some of the lectures looked really interesting, but most of the lectures were done by people in academia who were talking about complex computer science theorems and equations to mostly freshmen who were just learning how to write a for loop. So yeah, that was CSE 91. And then I also took Math 20C, which was, I guess, calculus. I don't really remember that class either. Next, spring quarter was CSE HB, which was a continuation of Intro to Computer Science with Java. I also took discrete mathematics this quarter and I learned some useful stuff that I still carry with me today because it is useful, like Boolean algebra, Fibonacci, and number systems. And I also learned some stuff that I don't remember what they are at all because I never used them after that class, like the pigeonhole principle, Gray's code, and Carnot maps. I remember I had a really bad professor for this class, but to be fair, most of my professors at UCSD were not that good. You'll see some of that shade sprinkled in here and there because I think UCSD's CS program was very theoretical, it was very academic, and it was really focused on systems architecture and lower level programming, which is like the complete opposite of what I'm interested in. Hi, editing my Yugo here. I just wanted to stop and clarify a few things. So I don't actually think that it was the professors were bad or the courses were bad or anything. I think it was more that it just didn't really match my learning style as much as I had hoped. For some people, it really does match their learning style and their interests. Uh, I think a computer science degree experience really depends on a lot of factor, you know, it depends. Uh, I also wanted to recognize the privilege that I've had of going to an American university and getting a computer science degree because it has helped me to become the software engineer that I am today and it's giving me the career that I've had to this day. So with that said, back to the video. I also took linear algebra and statistical methods that quarter, which were also requirements for computer science. And then I also took chamber orchestra. Now, some of you might know this, but I was in orchestra through all of middle school and high school. So I wanted to bring that a little bit into my college experience and it was really fun, but I had no time to practice. Next, moving on, my second year of college, fall quarter of 2011. This quarter, I took basic data structures and object-oriented design, which is, you know, the foundation of like all of computer science. And then I took a class on how to debug, which was so useful. We learned how to use the scientific method to find bugs, as well as debugging tips and tricks. And then I took math slash algorithms and systems analysis, where we learned about algorithm complexity, discrete probability, and recursion. One thing that was cool about this class was that it was taught by this professor named Ronald Graham, who is the inventor of Graham's number. There's like a whole wiki page about him and his number, and it was really cool to have him as a professor. And then I took intro to neuroscience again because I failed it and I didn't want an F on my transcript. One of the things that I think is really cool about this day and age that wasn't as readily available when I went to college is that the materials to learn computer science fundamentals like data structures and algorithms is available online. And that's where I wanted to thank the sponsor for this video, Brilliant. Brilliant is a website that has a ton of courses in the math and sciences and computer science. Their intro to data structures class is way easier to learn from than my college class with beautiful illustrations and interactive lessons. Each class explains the concept beautifully well to teach you how to think. And each course breaks down complex concepts into easy to understand pieces. Go to brilliant.org slash hellomayugo and sign up for free and check out some of their courses. And the first 200 people to go to that link will get 20% off of the annual premium subscription. I really hope that you take advantage of this and Brilliant, thank you so much for sponsoring. Now, back to my degree. All right, winter quarter of 2012. This is when we start going into kind of some of the lower level programming stuff because I took a class called Computer Organization and Systems Program, AKA CSE 30. 
This is where we learned things like bitwise operations, started learning about assembly and the inner workings of a computer, aka the ALU, buses and caches. I remember this class being pretty difficult, but it was really just a small hint of what was to come. And then I took some easy classes to balance it out. I took Music 14, Contemporary Music. I couldn't find the syllabus for this one and I don't remember it, but I'm pretty sure it was an entire class about the Beatles. And then I took Phil 27, which was one of the Warren College basic GEs about ethics. Now you'd think that if you're teaching ethics to a bunch of engineering majors, then you'd probably teach coursework around the implications of engineering technology and ethics. But instead we learned things about euthanasia, abortion, war, and aid to the needy. Which yeah, like those are all ethics problems, but we wrote papers on those things and I feel like it could have been more useful if we did projects relating ethics and engineering some more. Now let's move on to spring quarter of my second year. So I took a class on advanced data structures, which built upon my basic data structures class. We learned about binary search trees, balanced trees, various hashing techniques, heaps, treeps, priority queues, and graphs. I also took a class called Software Engineering, which was taught by one of our beloved professors, Gary Gillespie. And this was my very first like project-based class. In fact, this class, every quarter, the professor decides that the students will make a different kind of application. The quarter that I took it, our professor was really into CrossFit, and so all of us made a CrossFit app. We could choose what platform we wanted to build on, and it was really kind of self-directed. It was the first time that we learned how to do iterative development, and I learned a lot from that class. And it was actually, you know, like the first mobile app that I had ever made. I took the second part of the ethics class that was a GE, and then I took Psych 161, which was engineering psychology. Now this is actually one of my most memorable classes in college because I was really interested in the subject matter. The class primarily focused on how human beings interact with technology through audio and visual cues. My professor was a huge Don Norman fan who wrote The Design of Everyday Things, which is a very popular book in the world of cognitive science and design. And then I realized that Don Norman teaches at UCSD, just not to undergrad students. So then I just thought about how my professor just completely idolizes one of his colleagues and thought that was pretty heartwarming. <laughs> so that was my second year starting to get into some harder CS classes. And now onto my third year. So in this quarter, I took algorithms in which we learned things like depth first search and breadth first search and Dijkstra's. And then I also took intro slash theory of computation. In this class, we learned about deterministic finite automata and non-deterministic finite automata and regular expressions and what's natural and Turing machines. And this class was so, so hard. I really struggled in it and I legit failed. I was also taking a class about programming languages where I learned OCaml and Scala. It was really just a class to help you adapt to different programming languages really fast and learn about all the different types that were out there. And then I took race and ethnicity in American politics, which must have been a GE, but I don't remember taking this class at all. Next, in the winter quarter of my third year, I took compiler construction. This class was really, really infamous at UCSD, and people told me that you spend at least 40 hours a week on the programming assignments, and was like a major weeding class. Which I don't believe in weeder classes because that's when a lot of my friends, especially women, dropped out and they got discouraged from being in computer science. I just, I just hate weeder classes and I wish they didn't exist. In that class, we basically made a completely functional compiler. And that was like my first time doing a 48 hour coding sesh, which I will never ever do again. And then I took a class called field study, which was basically a way to get credits for a part-time job that I was working where I was coding, which was super, super easy. And then I apparently took life sciences in the 20th century, which seems like it was about like evolution and stuff. Again, I, I don't remember taking this class. So luckily I barely passed my compiler class and then I moved on to spring quarter. 
In spring quarter, I retook theory of computation because I failed it the first time and it was just as grueling as the second time, but I was gonna make sure that I wasn't gonna fail it again. I also took server-side web applications, which was basically talking about relational databases and how to create SQL queries. So I remember that one being pretty easy. And then I tried to take intro to AI and machine learning, but the coursework was really intensive. So I ended up dropping it. And then as part of the CS coursework, I took a class at the management school about business project management. The group project was actually kind of fun. The end goal was to make a marshmallow and spaghetti tower that would get really, really high. And it was all just around kind of going through the motions of scoping a project and researching a project and delegating things. It was a fun class. And that was my third year. And then in between my third and fourth year, I had an internship at Intuit at the San Diego office working on TurboTax, uh, which basically got me my offer to work there full time after graduation. And even though I had an offer, I still had a lot of coursework to get through my fourth year. So I definitely could not slack off. So in the fall quarter of my senior year, I took operating systems, learned about semaphores and such, and then database system principles, which was kind of more of the same stuff as my previous database class. And then apparently I took a class on eating disorders, which like, I don't remember again at all. This was the quarter in which I took some of those lower level programming classes again that were requirements to graduate. And because I was like so uninterested in these classes, I don't really remember them, except I do remember we learned about logic gates. And I think the project that we did in this class was to create a Bitcoin mining program. And in the winter quarter of my final year, I took the second part of those lower level programming classes, which was around computer architecture. We learned about modern processor design and operation, and there was also a lab to this one too. Again, I was so uninterested in this topic that I don't really remember the course, but I needed to do it to graduate. I also took intro to computer vision that quarter, which was actually pretty interesting because Scott and I went to the same school, except he was majoring in electrical engineering and knew a lot about computer vision. So he would help me out on programming assignments, which was kind of like a cool moment for the both of us. Cause yes, we were dating then cause we've been dating since we were in college. I took another field study class for my internship to get some free credits. And then apparently I took a class called Corporate Social Responsibility, but it looks like I dropped it probably because my computer architecture classes were really demanding. And then in the spring quarter of my final year, I took mobile programming, which kind of was like a big deal because that's what I ended up doing for a job. This was kind of a key class because this was the very first time that I did iOS programming, which, you know, became the rest of my career. But in the class, we made an iOS app that basically would replace eye clickers, which were these kind of remote control devices that you would use to vote on things during class, which were always way too expensive. I also took product marketing and management, which was really cool because we basically, as a group, decided to make a marketing plan for a product or company that already existed. My group chose Sriracha from Hoi Fung Foods because they never market their stuff and we thought it would be interesting. And so I learned a lot about Sriracha that quarter. And then I took Jazz, which was totally GE, but I do remember this one because we learned about big steps. So then I only had one class to take over summer, which was web client languages, which basically was just making a website. My professor was kind of a troll and wanted us to make a meme maker website because memes were all the craze back in 2014. And I remember this was a group project and there was like seven people in it and me and one other person ended up doing all of the work and it sucked. So then we left the group and made it on our own, which you know, group projects during college, am I right? Anyways, that's my computer science degree. I looked up the current curriculum for CS students at UCSD right now, and it's largely the same with the removal of compilers. Getting that degree is one of the hardest things that I've ever done. And honestly, if I could go back in time and choose another school and be able to pay for it, I would probably choose somewhere else knowing what I know now about myself. I know what learning style fits me best, I know what interests me, and I'm not sure that UCSD's CS program was great for that. But honestly, I don't regret it. 
I met a lot of friends there, I met Scott there, and while I didn't like the coursework, I think making me realize what I didn't like led me to what I do like. I hope you like this video. If you also went to a four-year degree program for computer science, then let me know what your experience was in the comments down below. And make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. I will see you next time and hope you have a great day wherever you are. Bye!